Jared Kimber, George Dobell, Headingley. Is that all we say? That's usually my intro, isn't it? Just say something like polite inquiries sometimes. I would, but hey. English Nick says, Yorkshire claim all the credit for Plunkett Revival. What percentage do they merit? I moved over here in 2008, and there's no way I thought I'd be standing here now talking about Liam Plunkett take a five wicket hole for England. There are quite a lot of comparisons with the Mitchell Johnson story, aren't there? Yes, except Mitchell Johnson never went to the wilderness for this song. But Yorkshire and Jason Gillespie take Andrew massive, Gale. Yeah, and Jeff Boycott take yeah. a massive amount of credit, but mainly he takes the credit because he sorted himself out. Good and, for him. And his father's kidney. It was funny because in the press conference the other day he said, uh, my dad needed a kidney, so I offered him a bit of drop of a hat, but you do that to your dad, don't you? Maybe it's just journalists, but we all sat around looking at each other going, I'm not sure I would. You're on your own if you have a kidney trouble, dad. Nick says, does Liam Plunkett have a future in Test cricket, or will he lose out when England move to three seamers and Stokes? You've got, you've got Stokes, Jordan and, and Plunkett. There may be occasions when you don't play Jimmy Anderson on certain sorts of pitches. Did you just drop Jimmy? No, I'm just saying on certain George sort of... Dobell drops Jimmy. English Nick says, are you sure Pryor is still a better keeper than Butler? I think he was injured. I think he might have hurt his finger early on. He didn't look right to me. At uh, one stage he was limping and uh, look, you have to be pretty out of it to try and take a catch on the chest. So, And he hasn't kept enough this year, so maybe they shouldn't have picked him. But it comes back to the same thing. It's not so much that he did well or anything before the first test. So everyone else was hopeless. They were all, you know, either not keeping Stephen Davis wasn't an option because mm. he stopped keeping. Uh, it was mainly that the rivals all fell away, wasn't it? They like him, but he can't have another day like that. I mean, he w he's not undroppable. You can't, you can't keep like that. Cricketing View says, what does Cook's comment about Warren's criticism tell us about the KP situation? Nothing. Two he could have ended it. Instead of the KP situation, he could have said the Scottish referendum for all the connection those events have. Global warming. And equally, the answer would still be nothing. Pierce Mitchell said, surely the poor crowd at this test just shows that 32 quid for the cheapest ticket is too much. You can basically buy a bakery down the road for 32 quid. But what actually could you do for a whole day for 32 quid? You went to football, it cost more than that for a lot less time. Uh, you can't get much cheaper, can you? I don't know. Now I'm trying to think of really cool things to do with 32 quid. Well, you could go for a walk in the park. But actually, I don't think it was that lovely there today. I mean, we saw a play held up at the end because someone threw some cheese. But it, it did hit a play. You can't throw things at players, even if it's cheese and it sounds comical. He threw a baby bell. Today, what did I see? I saw a man try and give another man cheese. <laughs> do you think he was just misunderstood? <laughs> That'll be his defence. He has been arrested. David Mutton said, would Ian Bell make a better England captain than Alistair Cook? Look, I don't know whether he'll 100% make a better captain than uh, Alistair Cook, but we're going to find out shortly. He inserted on a pitch where they should have batted first, mm. really, and they missed some awful chances. So he kind of got out of jail, I thought. So today could have ended very much worse for Alistair Cook, and he could have been caught that edge yeah but you know what I mean with a tiny twist of fate oh, he could have had a shocking day which would have hastened his um, retirement not retirement his, his decision to quit the captaincy uh, Jamshed says shouldn't yeah. you have a Sri Lankan expert to deal with the Sri Lankan side of questions a I am Sri Lankan clearly and B we didn't get any Sri Lankan questions <laughs> Liam Cromar says is there a case for saying that Broad not realizing he was on a hat trick actually increased his chances of completing it yeah I suppose I can say yes because I've been on about three or four and I've bowled wides on virtually every occasion have you ever taken a hat trick yeah several actually yeah you look so smug when you say that. Last question is from Vish. He says, why did the cat run up the tree? Still not funny. <laughs> we'll see you tomorrow.